This is for a friend of mine. I wanted to show him this setup. So I'm hoping to just get through this pretty fast, but we'll see. As you can see, this is connected to the grid. Well, the grid is up here. That's the symbol right above my finger, the symbol for the grid. And I got a simulated solar hooked up. This actual isn't solar because I wanted to make sure that my solar, which is down here, and all these solars that work on these LEDs are working correctly because I've seen a voltage drop. So I hooked up my simulator, which is a battery pack, and you can see the how much power is putting out right now. So this little sign right here above my finger is the solar going in here charging that battery. But what I wanted to show because I said it's a thing about looping and hyperlooping. We're not going to cover hyperlooping today. We just going to uh, cover looping. So, we follow the wires. This is my from the grid and behind here is out of the grid. And I'll attach a video that explains that. So, this cord right here, which is in back here, that goes up, comes from that battery, which at the current time is dropping, okay? Because we are using so much power. Okay, so now that we understand that it's coming from the battery, this is how you get this step up. Okay, this is attached to another simulated solar, which is if I can get it just right, you can read it. It's about seven amps is coming out of here, and as you can see, is attached to this from this these cords going down coming up to these skinny cords is with black tape but I gotta redo that and that's how it was attached is coming from that so now this is a tie grid now this tie grid comes down goes around and we connected it right at the end of this strip and this strip comes up and it's attached to this, which we're using for our solar, and it's attached to this for charging the battery. And then this up here tells you how much power we are consuming. Okay? So, let's do this. So we know that we're getting a, a complete wraparound because all these items, let's zoom out, are plugged into one long strip so this strip down here see how this cord goes up here follow the cord okay and it's going to that tie grid up there this is all connected together everything is going in a full circle okay now this black cord is connected to the grid okay so this this right here this cord should be drawing some power from the grid or receiving power and how we're going to find out is we're going to unplug stuff okay so if we unplug this see this pull out that is now off okay now, look at the jump. Now it's consuming energy. And let's look at the battery. The battery went up to eight. Okay, so we'll zoom back in so I can get a clear here. See how it went up to eight? See how this is fluctuating almost 300 and sometimes it, it jumps up to 300 because it's consuming energy from the grid okay 
So, again, just by unplugging this one cord, which is putting energy into this grid, and I can control it with this, how much goes into the grid, how much is coming out of the grid, and this right here for the solar is putting energy from there. So if I'm taking energy from this and putting it back in here, let's plug this back in. Come on, stay on there. Okay, so now that came back on and we're gonna wait for it to start back up. And we should be able to tell if it starts back up because that number will get lower. So we're gonna wait till that number gets lower. I hear the sound. We're here, okay. And there, look. So now we have to go through this. Since this is a W, which it means watt here, that's watt and that's watt okay see it's bouncing around and that'll be bouncing around okay so you just see that we see about a hundred watts different and that means that it's actually putting energy into that grid and consuming that and remember we're running that too so if we turn this up because i see i got seven amps going in there and how many and i got nine going there and this jumps down to seven. So what we do is you turn this down. Let's see. Again, we're gonna just unhook that. I just wanted to show that you can do a loop. And that, that proves that you can actually do a loop, which I was telling you when I hook up my solar down there, that I was doing the loop and I'll loop I'll try to put that into the um, descriptions and link that other video to this one just to show a hey, yes these things can be looped around there you can hyperloop hyperloop has to involve batteries and what when I show you all the secrets you'll understand that yeah you can get free energy yes some energy comes from the grid or a battery then you loop it and then you step it up that's what we call hyper looping looping is just doing what we're doing right here just a normal loop and yes we are losing energy and see how it jumps down to six so we're losing energy but very slowly, okay, because it's splitting. But if I unplug this again, then this is gonna jump back back up because you're not drawing that, you're just putting energy back into the batteries, which I'm about to do. That'll stay there. So I'm gonna pull this, stop consuming some energy, and look. See? Stops consuming that energy. This goes away. See, is it zero amps? Okay. It is still drawing energy from the similized solar, which is that. Which you can see it jumped up to 10. We turned it down to five. And look what is coming from the grid back up to 300 so we're going to leave it like that for a while because we want this battery to go up uh, past 12 and uh, then we'll plug it back in 
it used to do do it automatically but it stopped doing that so we got to find out what exactly is wrong with the system but i did want to document that to tell you we got a full loop that cord right there which goes to there and then that tie grid puts energy back into the system and you can have this running in one big loop all right i wanted to do a slight part two to this I unhook the simuli, um, the simulated solar, um, which is a DC source. I disconnected it, as you can see, and we're reading 182, 183.6, and that's seeing 187.8. So if we read this, and it it is connected, as we can follow the cord down. To there it's going through all here so this is consuming power because the light is on even though it's not connected this is this up here is consuming um, thing and it's all coming from this battery right now which is dropping it went from three down to two I'm waiting for this to kick in that's what I'm waiting for and um, but we can see that it's very, very close. So we're seeing that 183, 187. So that's what we're waiting for is this plug to kick in up here and this symbol to go over to here. So I wanted to see how much power is going to be drawn Okay, we just about there. It's down 11.9. I bumped up the power. As you can see, it's 200 and something watts coming out of that. I bumped that up to 9 amps coming out of there. And as you can see, we're at 208. And we are at 213 up there so that's going to be bouncing around it's still unplug here so i'm waiting for this to get low enough and it should click over and there it is it just clicked over okay it is now charging my load from the plug and charging the battery okay so now we can see we're taking 422 watts and we're putting in 200 normally this is at five something so we got to see if uh, this is actually yeah it's charging the battery which I wanted at this stage but I just wanted to show you that we are still drawing energy from the grid 200 that should drop down but again as you see that should be showing a little less but it's a little high so that means that thing is probably drawing 500 maybe 600 watts of power to do both the load this is the load over here and you see it says bypass coming from the grid and charge the battery at the same time so if i put the solar on here it starts to only take it from the solar that's why i unplugged it so i just wanted to bring that back up and um again that's it for the second part we see that we are on the grid and that we have our loop from there 
all the way down here powering all these devices right now it's powering this and then that's letting us know what we are consuming and what we're putting back in um, let's go through the specs so everybody can see that four point eighty two amps and if we go back to the amps I do wanna make an a thing you see that number but look at that number okay so the amps coming out here and that this right here that's the amps okay so again that's powering that battery which was at 11 and now it's going back up to 7 so it's charging that battery which I wanted but you you have to understand that's showing that we are putting energy back into this grid because that should be much higher so we go back to the watts and we're ending the video there